believe with all my heart, it is not possible. The way things have become in this generation, it is not possible because of the counsel of the enemy generationally and because of the outright attack on the kingdom of God and on marriage and on family and because the enemy understands it's, it's, a, it's a fight for dominion, amen. I do not believe and I've been convinced by the Lord right from day one when he called us that you can win this battle as an individual without uniting. We're in the days whereby we need to use the power of unity. The power of unity, one will chase a thousand, two putting ten thousand to flight is what is going to break every one of us through. Is what is going to break. United intercession, fasting and prayer and sacrifice are the pillars. Of that is what we stand for in this ministry. We don't just talk. We don't just encourage. We do those things. We encourage, amen. We bless, amen. We post and we do all those things. We lift up our hands, amen, and we encourage ourselves. But I said to the Lord, and the Lord has made it clear to me in particular that there's no point us posting about marriage and posting about weddings and posting about what a good woman is and what a good wife is if we don't know how to cross over. It is all right to tell me or to tell you, you know, what a good woman is, what a good wife is, what a good husband is. Amen. That is all part of marriage. But what happens to the singles? What happens to the divorce? What happens to the separated? What happens to the widows? What happens to those that have done their ultimate best to do what the Lord has spoken and yet there still seems to be a hindrance? What is going on? How come we are single heavy in the church? How how come it seems that there are less men in the in the kingdom of God and that are righteously walking with Christ than they are women? How come it has come to the stage it is so difficult for a man to meet a woman and for the two to become one flesh? Listen, there is a there is a war out there. That he has a plan and he has a strategy, and his counsel will stand. Prepare yourselves in the month of July, inviting men of God, prophets of God who are coming on to the prayer call. So you don't want to miss um, any prayer call because um, Thursday is our time. Do not miss any of them because we are inviting each and every week. We're inviting online men of God who are going to come and stand. We will be, we will be fasting throughout July from the 1st to the 31st. We will be fasting and we'll be enforcing the council and the council of God shall stand. It shall stand in the name of Jesus.